What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gordon and we're talking about what to wear in the wild today. What do you wear when you go outside? So I'm gonna walk you through what I wear when I go out in the woods, the reasons why I wear that piece of gear, and I'm gonna give you the links below to check out in case you want to look into it more. I went out to coffee this week with my friend Josh who is a wildlife photographer. He has a YouTube channel, check it out here. He is incredible. Give him a follow, he's awesome. He likes to wear Fjall Raven. I hope I'm, I hope I'm saying that right, Fjall Raven. Fjall Raven. He was telling me that the clothing he picks out has to be very quiet because he's trying to, to you know, work his way up to photograph animals in the wild. And so it's very important that the clothing is very quiet. For me, it's very important that it's extremely light because I'm doing a lot of hiking. We all have different technical reasons and aesthetic reasons and subjective reasons for picking out the clothing that we do. Uh, so it is a very personal thing, no size fits all, no solution is gonna fit you perfectly, but this is what I wear and I absolutely love it. So what do I wear on my torso when I go out in the wilderness? So if it's spring, fall, or winter, I am wearing a base layer whenever I go outside. And the reason why is that a base layer wicks moisture away from your body. And that is really helpful because if moisture sits close to your skin, you're gonna get cold. You might sweat when you're hiking or whatever, going to camp, and then as soon as you sit down, you're going to get really cold if that moisture is close to your body. That's why you never wear cotton. Cotton can store up to 27 times its weight in water, so you don't want to wear cotton when you go outside. So this is a base layer from Paca Apparel. I've done videos on this base layer before, and I just absolutely love it. This is the most comfortable shirt I have ever owned in my life. Not kidding at all. This is super, super comfortable and it performs really well when it's hot or it's cold because alpaca fibers naturally insulate you uh, even better than wool does. And it's got antimicrobial properties, so it's not going to smell. It's really crazy. You can sweat in this and it won't smell. I got a link below to this base layer if you wanna check it out. I wear a lot of lightweight clothing when I'm out in the woods intentionally because I don't want it to be a burden to me and I want it to dry out quickly, I want it to perform very well so I can get the most out of my experience outdoors. So this base layer is incredible, I'm not even kidding you. Uh, do yourself a favor, check them out. Paca Apparel, awesome. So once you have a good base layer sorted out, you wanna get a good mid layer. So this mid layer by minus 33 is merino wool and I love merino wool, it's basically just processed wool. Um, it's very soft, so it doesn't like itch like standard wool will. This has been washed with chemicals and whatnot to kind of round off the sharp edges on the wool. The nature of this wool makes it very warm for a mid layer, so I really like this mid layer. This is the Ventus hoodie by Outdoor Vitals. This thing is insanely comfortable. It is so lightweight and it is very, very warm, like almost too warm for a mid layer. Like if it's cold outside, I'm taking this with me. It's got um, ventilated pits, which are good for people like me that sweat. And <clears throat> it's a pullover. It's got a great zipper on it, extremely lightweight. I've had this Ventus hoodie for over a year now and been using it nonstop. I absolutely love it. Can't recommend it enough. If you want a good mid layer that is very lightweight for camping, hiking, outdoor stuff, the Ventus hoodie is what you want. So that covers mid layers. Now for an outer shell. So your outer shell is gonna either be like a puffy, a wool anorak, if you're into that sort of thing, super heavy, but it's very warm, um, or even like a rain poncho, a rain shell. So a good outer layer is gonna block the elements from you. That's wind and rain and cold. It's something that's gonna allow you to shed water easily. I always like to have a poncho with me in my gear. This one's made by Red Ledge and it's an excellent poncho. It's extremely lightweight. I've had this in torrential rain and, and I just love how it performs. I like this one because it's got super nice pockets. They're huge pockets which is nice because you can put the bag that you store it in in the pocket so you don't lose it. And you can put your phone, I can even put a camera in there. They're so big. Um, I love that. It's got drawstrings, of course, that cinch it around your waist. Um, nice hood with a drawstring on it. Uh, this thing will keep you very warm even though it's very lightweight. So I, I highly recommend this poncho by Red Ledge. So the guys over at Outdoor Vitals recently sent me this jacket to try out. This is the Outdoor Vitals Nova Pro. This is an awesome jacket because of its unique design. There's no stitch holes. It looks like these baffles where the fill is, is stitched in, but it's not. This jacket contains 
10,000 less stitch holes than usual because these baffles are actually woven together. They're not sewn together. That means that wind is much less likely to penetrate the jacket. And I have felt that to be true when I go out in a, in a lot of wind, in the cold. I don't feel it seeping into the jacket like I normally would with a conventional puffy jacket. And they're super smart. They included pit zips. I love pit zips. Uh, if you just need a little bit of ventilation here, maybe you're doing some hiking and you're not quite ready to take the jacket completely off, you can undo the pit zips and suddenly you've got some ventilation in there. It's really awesome. This jacket also features a really sweet pocket on the inside that's very deep. So I can take my phone and shove it down inside that pocket and I have room to spare for gloves or whatever else, car keys. And that keeps it inside, which is super nice. I've worn this in the rain, although it's not technically like a rain jacket, it handles the water pretty well. It tends to just kind of sheet off. It doesn't get stuck in any of those seams that would be sewn into the baffles. It just kind of trickles down. I absolutely love this jacket. Can't speak highly enough about it. And they gave me a link, which I'll put in the description below, for $50 off this jacket. It's not an offer that runs all the time, it's a limited time offer. They told me, go ahead and share the link with my audience. So there you go, if you wanna check it out. I've worn this jacket in the wind at 15 degrees Fahrenheit and been very comfortable. This is made from 850 fill power hyper dry down, which is really fancy terminology for saying that it is extremely warm and very lightweight. <laughs> so even if you got this soaking wet, it will maintain its loft, which is the insulation properties of the down. It stays lofted and it will keep you warm. A lot of down jackets, uh, when they get soaked, uh, lose their loft and then lose the insulation power. But this one maintains that very, very nicely. So don't be afraid to go out in a bit of water with this jacket on. Next up is pants. What do I wear on my legs? So I always wear a base layer in the wintertime, spring, fall. And the base layer that I wear is typically something like this. I probably got this at like Walmart or something a long time ago. I've probably had these for like 10 years and I do wash them, don't worry. This is just a base layer made by Champion and uh, nothing special, but this keeps me a whole lot warmer than if I wasn't wearing it at all. So I always wear a base layer underneath my pants. Now, my favorite pants right now are these. I've had these for about six years now and they're holding up really, really well. I wear these about every week during the spring, winter, fall, and they're holding up great. So these are Wrangler outdoor pants. They're insulated and uh, I thought these weren't gonna last me very long, but these just won't die. I've had them for years. Uh, the knees are holding up really well. I usually wear through the knees on my pants very quickly. They're very comfortable. They fit me very well, and pants generally don't fit me very well. There's something about them. They're really warm. I can sit right on the snow with these, and they stay warm. There's not a, lot, a whole lot of wear on the back pockets here. A few stray strings here and there, but not bad for six years. Would highly recommend these. I mean, they're no Fial Ravens. Fial Raven. Uh, also, they're not as expensive as Fial Raven, so. So there we go. Those are my favorite like shoulder season winter pants. So my favorite pants to wear in the summer now are these Outdoor Vitals uh, ultralight pants. They're just very comfortable, very simple pants that hold up really well. So I've had them for about a year now and I have zero complaints. They dry out really well. So these pants are polyester. They have a good stretch to them. They are very durable. I've taken these through thorns and you know, snagged, but they don't, they don't pull out or snag holes in them. I've really put these pants through a lot in the last year and I really like them. Would highly recommend checking out the Outdoor Vitals ultralight pants as well. Now, for feet, I am obsessed about the socks that I wear on my feet. It's taken me years to get the right combination of socks to wear to keep me from getting blisters, from getting too cold, from getting too hot. I am really picky about my feet and for good reason. If I'm hiking, I don't want to get blisters. I don't want my feet to get cold when I'm sitting around at camp. It's important. So since I was like 14, I've always worn nylon under my socks, summer or winter. No matter what, I always wear nylon socks. The reason why is that it wicks moisture away from my foot 
and will keep me from getting those hot spots and those blisters and getting getting my feet just wet and soggy. You don't want that. So these particular socks are just these dry release socks from Gander Mountain. I've used a ton of different nylon socks and to me, I don't really tell much of a difference. Just get some nylon socks as your base layer. For about eight years now, I've used wool socks by People Socks and I really was impressed with them. Just recently this last year, I've had to slowly start to retire them because I've literally worn the bottom of them out. I noticed my feet were starting to get cold this winter and I looked at them and sure enough, the bottoms were getting thin. So I have to replace them. But those socks lasted me eight years and they're really great. My new favorite socks for summer and for winter are these socks by Packa Apparel. So I've had these for about eight months now and I wear them constantly. I wear them a couple times a week, even in the house. I'm obsessed with them. They are the most comfortable socks I've ever worn. They are made out of uh, baby alpaca fiber. Just the way they're fitted and everything, they're holding up excellently. I put these things through the ringer. I wear them on hardwood floors and they're not the smoothest hardwood floors and you can tell they're not they're not uh, wearing out. Do yourself a favor, treat yourself to a pair of these alpaca socks. They are fantastic. The most comfortable socks in the world. One thing you definitely want to invest in if you're going to be outdoors is a pair of gaiters, leg gaiters. So leg gaiters are awesome because they keep your legs warm, which in turn keeps your feet warm, keeps the blood flow going to your feet nice and toasty. Just get a cheap pair like this off of Amazon. They're like 14 bucks. They work really, really well. So the boots that I wear in the winter time right now are these boots by Kamek. They have 3M insulation in them. Um, they're very, very water resistant. Uh, they're not waterproof, but I mean, I can take these things up to here in water and not have an issue. I do waterproof them every year just to kind of help with that. I've had a lot of knee problems in my life. I've had three surgeries. So I'm really sensitive to what footwear works and what doesn't. And these really work for me. They're not super heavy. They have great grip and they're warm. So they're not like a, a sub-zero boot or anything like that, but um, I will wear these in winter with the proper socks. Kamek makes great boots. They didn't break the bank either. For summertime, I've been wearing these shoes for six years now. So these are Merrill hiking boots. Love them. I have zero complaints about them at all. They are amazing. They have the Vibram soles and they've held up. I've put probably 600 miles on these boots right here. So I treat these with Scotch Guard every year. That really helps with keeping the dew from soaking into the boots. This is what I wear in like spring, summer, fall. If it's not like crazy muddy or cold, I'll wear these. So that's what I wear in the wilderness. It's a very personal decision what you end up wearing. So I hope you found that useful or at least entertaining. We'll see you later.